Hey everybody, this is Michael, and I've got a pretty neat video about White Sands, New Mexico, and about the White Sands National Park, and um, I, I got there super early, I was able to get there and be the only one on the boardwalk, so I've got like a little video of the boardwalk and some, some slides to show you at the end, and uh, I think you'll, I'm hoping it'll, it'll, those who are, can, it'll kind of want you to, make you want to get out to go Check it out for yourself. And those who can, maybe I'll give you enough of a look. And then it'll let you know what it's like out there. And so, well, if you if you enjoy the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I can sure use the support. Thank you. Uh, hello everybody. I'm at White Sands. When you're around Alamogordo, it's only like less than 20 miles to get here. And so why not come do it? And last time I came here with my friend Richard in the afternoon, and this boardwalk was busy. I thought this would be a good time to get out here and get a good clean look at it without a bunch of people. And you can see what it's like. But it's, it's real nice, handicap accessible, you know. That way you can kind of get out here and see the see the dunes and the flora and the fauna that go with it. They got places to rest with and information about what you're seeing. It's, it's a lot of fun. But the first time I got here, came here, it was snowing and stuff, and I I, I elected not to go down this. <laughs> well, I sometimes wish I had just gone anyway, but I didn't, and so. I've done it. This will be the second time I've done it. But if you're in Alamogordo, there's no reason to not come out here and check it out. I, I was reading yesterday one of the other places I was, went, gone, went to that the white of the sand is where it's just finally barely made up of gypsum. And that's why it's white. Of course, they give you a big explanation as to how it, how it formed and how it, it just continues to grow apparently and so neat stuff I think I like getting out in the nature in, in the nature and, and just anywhere seeing the stuff it's kind of fun because where I was yesterday is just still technically a part of the White Sands area well maybe not quite but it has it had the Valley of Fires as lava flows from they say for between 1500 and 2000 years ago and so but it's you know pretty neat there's not a lot of people I don't have to cut a lot of it out I can show you the, pretty much the whole trip if I want to. Well see I I'm using my Casso camera at GoPro. I, you know it's okay but if you get it out in the bright sun like this it'll overheat and shut off. And I forget to check it. And so this Acaso doesn't do that. It's like the least expensive one though and it's been a good one for me. And so I just keep using it some it shoots in four K. The audio is not always as good. Sometimes it has vibrations to it, but maybe it won't this time. If it does, I'll be doing a voiceover. <laughs> but see, they have all kinds of stuff here so you can see what what's, uh, you're looking at. We saw lots of yucca while going there's, uh, yesterday, and there's lots of yucca. There's some yucca up there. We'll see some more probably. But all this, this information about what is here and what you might see. And they got benches in places. 
if you need to, you can stop and rest, you know. It's not far from a Holloman Air Force Base, and so you can hear jets and stuff going over. And you can look down in the sand, you can see tracks of all kinds of critters and people. Yeah. And I guess it's, it's okay, but that's... But this it is a real long boardwalk. It took a lot longer last time because we were stopping and taking a bunch of photos on the way. And but I like this. Nobody but me. I can take you straight on it and show you what it's like. But you know, that's the Sacramento Mountains. Just the end in front of us. That's one thing about here in the Alamogordo. There's mountains on back to the behind Alamogordo and in front of Alamogordo. On either side of this thing, it's the same, same mountains, but so you can see all the information that you can, can get when you come here. Pretty fascinating, I think. Get some pictures that way too. And even even this Picasso camera getting warm, but it doesn't get hot and turn off like the GoPros do. And my GoPro, I got it for less. Cause it was a refurbished one, the Hero Six. Got it in 2019 for $200 off of Amazon as a refurbished one. The rest of them, you know, anything else you get was like six or seven hundred bucks, and so. That's why I got that one. And it's, I've taken lots of video with it, so I guess it's done a good job. I'd like to get a new one, or a new something, I don't know what yet, but maybe another, the, they've upgraded Acasso's that might do good on both the, the audio and the video. This one does phenomenal work on the video. Just doesn't do as good on the audio for some reason. A few little birds having a conversation. He's like, what is this guy doing here so early? Does he know people don't show up till later? <laughs> Must be house switches. They have a little red on them. <clears throat> we have those kind of birds in Texas, Lubbock, that little area. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just get there and get a video of you? Yeah. You're alright. <laughs> but I gotta go by. Yeah. <laughs> I 
hard to get a decent picture with my camera or not of some wild off and stuff. If I won't look your way, sometimes you can whistle at them or make a noise and they'll turn and look to see. They're just, they're looking, they're not looking at you because you wanted them to. They're looking at you because they're worried they're about to, about to be in danger. <laughs> but it still helps get a photo sometimes. I won't know how good that turns out until we I get, get it downloaded to the computer. And apparently, according to what I found, finally, there's not any RV sites, but they'll let the primitive camp and tents around. And so, if you wanted to come camp here, you could. There's some more information here that you can get at the beginning of the trail. And they have handicapped parking because you could probably should be able to get a wheelchair through there if you wanted to. And so, no really not to check it out. And I'm already back at the back at the truck.
Well, that was a look at White Sands, New Mexico. Had a good time this year. Uh, next year, I'm going to stay a little different places because it's kind of fun. I like it quieter than where it was in El Gordo, but it was still, still a pretty nice place. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you.